you know, in this season of your life, you have to be okay with losing people. And I know, I know it's hard. And I know it gets hard because we have so much going on in the world and we feel like we need people. We feel like people are our source, right? And people are not our source. If you have a relationship with God, you will understand that God is your source. He is your everything, right? And you do need people in this world because when God blesses you, when he, send, when he helps you, he's going to send a person, right? But what I mean is you have to be willing to lose people who are not beneficial to your purpose who are not helping you to get closer to your purpose. You have to be willing to lose people who are hindering you from accomplishing your purpose. Because believe it or not, you can make people an idol. You can worship people. You can worship your job. You can idolize your job. You can make your job your source instead of making God the source, right? And your job, the resource that he provided, you make your job the source. This is not the season for that. The season is to put all of your belief, right? Put your everything into God. You have to believe and have faith like no other. You have to believe and trust in God in this season like no other because people are going to fail you and when people fail you you're going to be disappointed and when people leave you you're going to be disappointed and when people die off this earth you're going to be disappointed because you put all of your trust and your hope and your faith and your belief in those things and people and we're supposed to be putting all of that into God I even tell my children, don't put all your hope in mommy. Don't put all your trust in mommy because like this, I can be gone, right? And and they still have to, they still are going to have to live and be able to survive and thrive without me. So I'm teaching them to put their faith in God because if I fail, their faith is not in me. If I leave them, if I leave this earth, their faith is not in me. Yes, they're going to grieve. I'm not saying you can't grieve. I'm not saying you can't miss people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't honor, you know, your dead loved ones. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is your hope and your trust should not be in that, those people. Right? You shouldn't idolize that. You shouldn't idolize that thing. You shouldn't idolize your job. You shouldn't idolize your husband. You should not idolize your wife. You should not put all your everything into a relationship, into people. This is not the season. All of our hope, our trust, our belief, you know, our provision, all of that should be in God. We should be trusting in God for that. And believe that he will provide all of your needs, not some, all. I wish I could share my testimony. I can't do it right now. I'm not released to share it. But as soon as I release, I'm released to share it, I will be sharing it with you all. I will be sharing it. Because I had to put my faith in God. Trust and believe in God. And he will not fail you. You putting your faith in God will teach you money management. Right? It'll teach you how to be a good steward over what it is that God has given you. It'll teach you that a lot of the things that you thought you need, you don't need it. You don't need a lot of those things. Those are wants. Right? Putting all your trust in God will teach you that he will provide all of your needs, not all of your wants. The wants, that's extra stuff. That's stuff you don't even need. He said your needs. 
right? All of your needs, right? A lot of that stuff will fall off. You don't even, you wouldn't even desire. You don't even care about, you know, a lot of the things you once did before you start putting your trust in God. And you will realize too, a lot of that stuff that, excuse me, making that noise. I'm rubbing my knee and making noise with the keychain in my car. You will realize a lot of that stuff you don't need and you will learn to do without it. You will learn that it's not a big deal. You will learn that it's not the end of the world because you don't have, you know, your favorite purse or you can't go to your favorite store or do like extra things that you really don't, you know, have to do. You want to do it, but you don't have to do it. You'll realize when you put all of your trust in him, he's going to, God's going to teach you how to be a good steward, be a good manager over the resources that he has given you. And when you are a good manager, he could trust you with more. He could trust you with more. That's where I want to be. I want to be a good manager of the resources that God gives to me because I know none of it don't belong to me anyways. It doesn't belong to me. I want him to teach me to be a good steward, a good steward over finances, a good steward over my health, a good steward over resources that he gives me. A good, I want to be a good manager right? That's what I want to do. And that's what you have to focus on. God will provide all of your needs. He'll provide your, he'll provide your needs. When, when I'm releasing to tell my testimony, you guys are going to be like, wow, that's some level of faith. That's a faith that is unmatched. And the word of God is simple. Religion has put all these stipulations on faith in, belief in, you know, we've been duped. <laughs> we've been duped. We have been duped. You don't need to do all the extras to have faith. You don't need to show outwardly material possessions that you have faith. That is not faith. That is not faith. Faith and belief comes with a level of peace that surpasses all understanding. And that's true because all hell could be breaking out around you. But you will have a peace knowing that everything is going to work out for your good. You will have a peace that is going to work out. 